In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of editing the site header. So I'm in the make.powerpages.microsoft.com. So that's a Power Pages Studio you can see over here. Uh, I'm in one of the page. So let me say, see, show you the page. So this is the my page. Uh, and as I hover mouse over the section, I can see some button called as edit site header. Okay, so I'll just navigate my mouse over here. And if I click on edit site header, let's see what all options I get. So first thing I get is I can change the title, site title. So let me call this as uh, the Australian way as a title of this website. So as you type in, you'll see the change is, is instantaneous and it gets updated automatically. If I want to not show the logo, site logo, I can just click on it and the site logo disappears. Yes, I do want to show the logo, but I don't like this logo. So let me upload the logo of my company. So I say, select this option and I click on OK. Then it will uh, update this change or persist this change. I want to put some alt text for readability purpose uh, as a part of accessible interface. So I'll say this is a company logo in black color. Uh, that's it. So this is all good. Now, if I click on styling, I can see the brand colors, which is inherited from the styling section so if i want to change this brand color i can pick any color so let me pick some some random colors okay and then i'll just say put okay and then i'll see this brand color being updated now there are four palettes of color uh, I've, if i select the first one and make it say yellow it will get automatically updated because this so first color is a part of the site header now uh, if i want to change the font of the website so fonts for a title then i click on title and if i select the font as say 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 courier new or maybe brush script then automatically the site title gets changed and if i want to make it more bigger i'll just put say 40 and if i want to make it say semi bold i can do that uh, now let's to the navigation styling something on the navigation front so if i click on site navigation arrow if i change the font to say korea new watch over here what happens it changes the style instantaneously and if i want to make it a bit bolder i can do that and say maybe more bigger size and maybe let me make it semi bold okay so this is what i want now on hover i want it to be underlined or no underline let me say it's underlined and what should be the color the color should be maybe black okay uh, or maybe yeah no I, I can't select any color over here yeah yeah i have to select the second palette over here so so this is what will be selected that's what it says it won't allow you to edit uh so that's about styling let me uh click on edit code and see what options we have to edit the code from behind so if i click on edit code and open visual studio code so it will navigate to visual studio code in the web and try to open the website so that i can view what is going on in the back end in the header so i can see a whole bunch of things it's a bit cryptic for me as of now but uh what I can do is like, if I just want to put say some, some text around uh, the header, I can do that. Uh, let me see what I can do. Let me go into this nav bar header and try to put in some content. Let's say, hello world. And this dot indicates that this content is currently not saved. I just put control S and the content will get saved. Let me open the design studio and sync this and see where my where did my content go. So I've written one text called as hello world. And if it is 
updated yes it gets updated and that's how you can edit various sections within your header if you are not uh, getting any options in the user interface to update the content okay so that's it folks uh, thanks for watching i'll come with some more content uh, in my next video see ya